Yo, what's good, everyone? JP checking in live, respectmyregion.com. Back again from the day two showroom floor. We're in Exhibit Hall A, Flower Expo, Lansing, Michigan. I've got a very special guest, you guys. We've got Brady Madden, CEO, founder, Evergreen Digital, specializing in SEO services, marketing, strategy, yep. Yep. a variety of things that we're going to unpack today. Brady, how you living today, man? I'm doing great. It's been a great expo. Nice weather outside. It's been fun. It's been fun, right? I was commenting on the glow. We've got a little tan here. <laughs> yeah. This Michigan weather has really uh, helped set the tone for this event. A lot of moves, opportunities, retailers walking around, brands exhibiting. Uh, you as a marketer specializing in SEO, I'm interested in learning like who you are, how you got into that, and then what does Evergreen Digital do beyond just the letters of SEO, search engine optimization, right? Yeah. So yeah. let's unpack those two parts first. Absolutely. Yeah. So I started uh, Evergreen Digital, you know, 2020. So it was er right before the pandemic started, actually. But uh, it was from coming off of a marketing role where I had spent about three years as a marketing director overseeing a lot of different aspects of marketing um, and really started to understand how valuable SEO is in general for yeah. the cannabis industry because at the time, you know, this is seven years ago, there wasn't a lot of these ad platforms and other things that were out there that are available now. And even now they're still pretty restricted. So, right. you know, there's only certain channels that we can focus on, but having spent about 15 years or so in digital marketing as a whole and really kind of honing in on SEO, I really saw a lack of education and experience really of people just understanding SEO, Google search engine algorithms, how it all works together and how it can really work for a dispensary owner specifically. There, I, I call it a social science. Mm -hmm. because yep. social media, well, one, there's a science to SEO. There's all those various algorithms. There's reporting and data and numbers and all that equates to some form of level of digital data, driven science, right? Yep. Yep. And then social media is its own thing and it's also perpetually changing, yep. right? You've got these different social media platforms, different content, content types, forms, ranking, all these things. I can imagine that these dispensaries, these brands, they oftentimes feel pretty overwhelmed because there's so much to do yep. and they only get paid for so much time, right? Exactly. Talk to me about some of the challenges that you've noticed, you know, that retailers go through and specifically what you guys do to overcome them. Yeah, I think some of the biggest challenges really um, are with their menu. You know, it's like if your menu cannot be read by search engines, then you essentially your whole product inventory is not searchable online. You know, it's like you want to have a searchable online menu. And so one of the biggest challenges I've really seen over the years is that a lot of operators have been working off of iframe menus or even marketplaces. Um, Leafly, Weed Maps, you know, there's a number of different marketplaces and things like that. And they get expensive. They get expensive to spend money there. Yeah. They get expensive to have- You're to leaving money on the order and the exchange. The exact action. Exactly. And you're paying hosting. So you're losing money to- you're spending money to host it yeah. and losing part of the revenue. Yeah, exactly. And essentially, it's like it's almost like they're not your customer at a certain point. I say renting. Yeah, Do you I renting is renting. Yeah, renting because as soon as you stop spending that money, is the day that your that ad gets turned off. One thousand percent. And so, really being able to take time and build out a native e-commerce menu that has the ability to rank inside of search engines. Um, so, if people are looking for a dispensary near me, maybe they're just looking for a store. Or maybe they're all the way down to figuring out, hey, I want this product. I want a vape pen. I want a, this strain in this product or something like that. Yeah. And being able to really have a menu that's fully optimized for all those things, I think is super important. And so that's really what we do is we help people or we help uh, um, cannabis operators really be able to create those type of menus that are searchable, indexable, easy to find. And then we create content off of that. It's called product-led SEO. Okay. And it's essentially just letting the product lead where SEO goes. You know, it's like, Educational content is great, but a post about terpenes isn't necessarily going to attract you 1, in a local market. I don't know if I've buy. ever searched terpenes or other random words when I'm searching for a product beyond yeah. what's on. I, when we do SEO, we do product stuff as well, right? And it's always, for us, it's reviews, right, for our articles. Which just has SEO. It's not like we're trying to do it for other people. It's just these things nature naturally have it, right, on the internet. We do titles. So strain first, because Leafly gets the most strain traffic. Yep. People don't search brands. They don't know brands. They know strains first, historically. Yep. Yep. I don't know. Does that, do you find that that holds true? I do, yeah. I, th I think it just depends on the search, because it's like if they're searching for what is Pineapple Express or what are the effects of Pineapple Express, 
they're looking more for a uh, answer and and less or you know if they're searching for something that's Versus like my area is pineapple yeah so. where can i buy pineapple express or pineapple express vape cart they're looking for something yes. more specific yes, so yes. it really kind of depends on the search query but typically speaking yeah there's a lot of search around strain names product types and those sorts of things and really optimizing for that Lord, what where when why classic basic principles of exactly. questions that we as humans ask to learn about things yep. that is what we search by the millions sound exactly. google right so and where and when it comes to retailer and seo let's let's take it to this you know the 0.01 college class seo search engine optimization yeah search engines google the uh, Instagrams have the features, search engine features yep. now, where Bing. you can just search for content. Bing, big, yep. big ones, right? Yeah. You guys want content that you know is listening and, and searchable and fine. Yep. Why do retailers want product-led SEO? Why does that matter so much? I think product-led SEO is it's like ultimately at the, at the end of the day, I think what happens often is that people get caught up in the difference between search engine traffic and then sales that come from search engines. You know, because you can get a lot of traffic on your website, but if you're not getting conversions, you're not getting sales, it doesn't matter. I don't, traffic doesn't pay the bills, sales pay the bills. Yes. And so product-led SEO is really focusing on your products, your categories, where you're focused. You know, if you're, if you have a whole, uh, let's say, vape focus for the month, and you've got a page set up for that that's really highlighting and explaining to people what vapes you have on sale, what cartridges you do, and then you've got a menu broken out for all that, it's going to make it a lot easier to find if you've got that broken out than if you have it in like an iframe menu that's just all hidden from search engines and then they have to click from different areas of well, 100 percent love sarcastically i love opening new tabs to open and click on all these different products that i want to learn about so frustrating so the value on seo is constantly changing and it becomes it, it ultimately is all the perspectives and people working in these positions and what their plan is in real time, right? Yep. You know, what is it like working with you guys in terms of, you know, they, these, these these groups, these retailers, these operators, they already have marketing teams. Yep. You know, what, what are your thoughts on partnering up with these different groups as an agency? Yep. And, and how does that look like working with you? Yeah, absolutely. So working with me, what I try to do in the first 30 days is I really try to understand where they're at as a dispensary. You know, what are their internal resources? Do they have marketing people that I can work with and communicate things to? Or am I going to need to do a lot of that because maybe they don't have the internal structure? Right, right. Um, and so it's really kind of figuring that out. But really, I like to look at my approach to SEO. I have systems. I have processes. I know things that work. But really, it's about understanding the brand. You know, where are you at? Are you a flower-only brand? Well, I'm not going to create content about vapes and edibles if you're a flower-only brand. Yeah. Or if you're a concentrate brand, I want to focus on that. And so really, my first 30 days are really like diving in, looking at the history where, where have you been at and where are you trying to go? What are you focused on? What does your brand say? And then I'm going to take my systems and processes and mold them to fit that brand yeah. so that I can help them rank for the things that they want to rank for, what's going to be most important and how all that looks. So that's usually the first 30 days, just understanding that, setting up the strategy. And then after I get that in place, it's execution. You know, I'm, set, I'm setting up a list. I'm looking at everything. I'm checking it with the dispensary owner, with the operator. And then it's like execution time because... If you want to start ranking, you have to start making changes to your website. You, you need content. You got to get the menu right. You got to get these other, I know, FAQs and that, you know, answering questions. I know all that stuff is incredibly powerful to generating the right traffic in specific areas too, right? Yep. So let's just do a little scenario here. I'm a retailer. I do, you know, 150 to 400,000 a month, which is a lot of retailers out there, small local companies, right? Yep. Yep. What is the immediate thing that they should be doing that most of them, you know, it's the menu, right? Yep. What What else beyond the menu really helps impact a small local retailer? I think outside of that, it's uh, optimizing location pages. So if you've got multiple location pages, then definitely making sure that those location pages are optimized for what area you're in. So if you're in, you know, we're in Lansing, Michigan right now. If you've got a Lansing store, you need to have a page with information about the Lansing store. It's talking about where it's at in Lansing, how to get there in Lansing, what to bring. Um, all those sorts of things. So I think location pages are huge. If you're a single location store, then just put it all on your uh, on your homepage because that's that's where you're focused at. Yeah. Um, so I think that's huge. And then really the next step after that is it's all about uh, uh, the categories, your product categories, flower, 
vape pens, you know, all the different categories you have and optimizing those categories, making yeah. sure that the title tags are. And guys, this is, this is content. You literally, yeah. like, let's clarify the confusion. Let's remove the cloud and some facade that SEO doesn't, isn't real. Yeah. And it's not physical. Yeah. Right. Yeah. These are articles. These are web pages. These are yep. things that you can grab a mouse, which is physical, yep. see something on a screen, click, engage, and something can show up at your house if you're on Amazon or if yep. you're on a regular yep. small business ordering coffee or whatever it is. These dispensaries, these 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 web pages, these articles, these FAQs, yep. adding words to different sections of the website, that is what SEO is. So not only are you guys paying for the labor of the words, the strategy, but then it's also knowing who, what, where, when, why, when to do it, how it should look, how it should sound. That's a lot of expertise, okay? I really want you guys to, to really understand the value of SEO experts and to stop trusting the $500 a month ones. Let's go ahead and get that out there too. Yes. Let's disrupt a little bit. We support freelancers. Yeah. We support small businesses, but what we're not gonna do is support charging a fee for deliverables that might be worth it for what that cost is, but are not worth it because of the intangible impact that ultimately that number has. You can't really have great, phenomenal impact at, with SEO at those prices. You can't have it over time, but when we were talking cannabis, Stuff today, they say yesterday's price is not today's price. Shout out Fat Joe, right? Yeah, that. Yesterday's costs are not today's costs. Yep. They will always be cheaper than before for the most part. Yep. Like 99% for most everything in life than today to do things before. So now is the time for you to get acquire, acquire customers, yep. for you to do SEO and pay for content, to work with agencies yep. because it will only get more competitive. There will yep. only be more and that fee and that price and the saturation to get the same results will only get tougher and more expensive. So yep. with that said, Evergreen Digital, Brady Madden, how do they get a hold of you? Uh, you can reach me on LinkedIn, just Brady Madden, otherwise uh, evergreenseoservices.com. Reach out to us on there, we'd love to chat. Evergreenseoservices.com, tap in, reach out, ask some questions. You can reach out to me on LinkedIn. If you guys are watching this on my channel, I'll get you guys in contact. But no matter what, start learning about SEO, educating yourself on the website and the internet. And stop, I'm gonna say this for everybody, stop letting emotional biases, your feelings about Instagram, your thoughts about Google, what you read about Facebook or what you hear about bigger companies, stop letting that dictate your marketing. Use data, talk to experts, work with people that are winning with it. And of course, to end it all, reach out to uh, reach out to Brady if you guys are cannabis businesses and you need to grow your business and your revenue. All right, we'll see you on the next one. Flower Expo Day 2, my guy. Peace. Appreciate you, dog. Appreciate Let's go. You. Thank you, Mark. See you on the next one. Peace.